What's the biggest ammo type in the foam flinging hobby? Is it the mighty Mega XL? Big, blue, beautiful. No. We often overlook the mighty demolisher rocket. Why? It's hard to use, hard to predict. Flight path is erratic, to say the least. But there is none cooler. And now you can fire six without having to reload. I give you the Fortnite grenade launcher. One blaster, six rockets, lots of fun. But is it any good? Well, let's find out. What's up guys, DJ Darkfeed here, bringing you another blaster review video. Today we're talking about a big boy of Nerf. Uh, this is one of the biggest blasters there is and it shoots the biggest ammo type there currently is on the market, even bigger than the Mega XL. So this is a very specialty type blaster. A lot of people don't have these because it's not something they use, but I do have to say it is one of the most fun ammo types to use, just period. It is super fun if you can actually pelt somebody with one of these. The Fortnite GL, that stands for Grenade Launcher. Yes, you heard me right. We have uh, six cylinder, six demolisher rocket capacity grenade launcher. You can fire six demolisher rockets without having to reload. Now this is a hamp, it fires on the pull, rotates on the return. That is pretty cool. So we do not have a trigger. There is no trigger to operate it. This is all about arm power. So hopefully you have a strong arm. You can be able to fire these quick. There will be no chronograph today because the FPS will vary greatly depending on how hard you pull this. So that is not going to be a fair test at all. But if you pull it hard, you can probably get it to go pretty far that's what she said but anyway so it feels comfortable it's a heavy blaster it's not super heavy but it is heavy um stock is very short this is very hard to shoulder um i cannot possibly shoulder this and fire it it's just awkward i have to hold it out and fire it like that so the stock is very stubby and short uh it would definitely need to be another four to five inches longer for me to uh to be able to shoulder this correctly uh you do have a tactical rail on top i don't know exactly what that's for or maybe you could put a light or something up there but uh uh these are not known for accuracy so putting a good sight on here is not going to help you in any way but uh maybe something up there would look cool uh again there is no trigger because it is a hamp it is powered by you so there is no trigger to fire but uh, the grip itself is comfortable. Uh, it's your standard type grip, but it is big, uh, but not too big. So this will fit, uh, you know, large and small hands alike. Now there is assembly required. I took it out of the box. I assembled it. It is a little tricky on some parts. These yellow pieces slide right into place. That's the easy part. But this uh, entire cylinder needs to be assembled. They come as six individual pieces and you have to put them together. It's not that difficult. It was a little tricky when I got down to the last one because the, the little pegs that you got to make line up to snap it into place was a little bit tricky. But again, it's not rocket science. I have faith that any one of you can do it. So that's not really a big deal. But there is assembly required because the box would have to be even bigger than the gigantic box that this thing came in if it was assembled. So for that point alone, they have to have it come with a little bit of assembly. But these slide into place, not a problem. The front foregrip is very solid, and that's where the stress is going to be put on this blaster uh, primarily all the time on the pull and the, and the return. So this does feel uh, pretty solid. It doesn't feel like it's going to break. It is a little, uh, you do have a little bit of slop and a little bit of play in the front here, and it is what it is. Overall, I mean, it's comfortable, but this is not... Uh, a primary kind of blaster. This is a very specialty type of unit. This is just fun to play with. And if you play in a game where uh, it favors demolisher rockets in any way that you need demolisher rockets to make any kind of tags, this is probably one of the better 
uh, options just because you can carry more than one. Uh, not just carry more than one, you can have more than one loaded up in here so you can fire more than one without having to reload. Uh, it also does come with six of the Fortnite colored demolisher rockets. There's two cutouts in the front and these load right into the blaster through these slots. That is the only way to load them. Then you rotate the cylinder and continue. So very easy. Um, and operation again power and all that will depend on you so now let's get to the fun part i'm excited i haven't really i i shot a few of these in the house and played around with this with my son for a little bit but uh i have not taken it outside and i have not tried to fire any of these things really so i'm excited to try this to see how it performs and i know this thing comes with a pretty hefty price tag on it um or at least it did i don't know what it's doing now but i'll 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 put that up so you guys can see. I happened to uh, find two of these new in the box, and I thrifted them that way, and I got them for a ridiculously cheap price. That's why I have it. I wanted it for a long time just because of what it is, and it's really cool looking. Again, performance, I don't know anything about it, so we're going to find that out. So now let's get to the fun part. Let's take it outside. Let's see what this puppy can do and go from there. Stick with me, guys. Okay, guys, so here we are outside. We're about 50 feet away. Let's see what this thing can do. Pretty crazy. Not bad. All right, let's uh, let's go inside and talk about it a little bit. Okay, guys. So the Fortnite GL, as you can see, it, it does what it's supposed to do. Don't let accuracy uh, get into the equation here, because accuracy is not what we're going for with this. We are trying to put a demolisher rocket in the general vicinity of a target that we're aiming at, and that it does. Uh, a few of the rockets were laser beams, would have definitely traveled further than 50 feet. There was at least one of them that would have gone a good 70, 80 feet if it had the room to fly. That is for sure. But there was one that kind of tailed a little right, and there was a few that fell a little bit short. But the rest, boom, right on target, nice flying. Now, a lot of that is just inconsistency with the pull, inconsistency with the size of the the, the rocket on the, in the system. It could have been the rocket had any kind of... Uh, deformation, the fin, the back, anything. So there's so many different variables that come into a demolisher rocket line. You really got to take accuracy completely out of the equation and just take it for what it is. It's something that is a very, very, very specialty type of ammo. And if you have a game where you need a demolisher rocket to, to kill a juggernaut or make a tag in, in a, or there's splash damage in some way, then this thing shines just for the fact that you can carry six of them on board without having to reload. Now, that is worth its weight in gold right there. Um, by the time you reloaded a single shot, I would already have six downrange uh, flying towards the target. So it's all about time and efficiency. But talking about efficiency, you'd have to carry this thing around all day to use at a very specific point in that case this is more for fun than anything else but um i could definitely see somebody walking around with this as their uh, secondary if a demolisher rocket was needed for any kind of tag um there is no sling points on it so you'd have to come up with your own way to to sling this uh that is one thing there is no dedicated sling point anywhere on this blaster and you're not going to be running around with this as a primary. That is something that you'd have to uh, keep in mind if this is something you want to use. Now, it is comfortable. It is, it, like I said, it's a little bit heavy. And I don't like this short stock, how kind of, if you hold it like this, it digs into your forearm a little bit. So it kind of digs into my forearm right there. I'd have to keep it off center a little bit or keep my arm flared out a little bit. But again, that's how I'm usually firing it anyway. My arm is out a little bit and then I'm firing like this. I cannot shoulder i mean i can shoulder fire but it feels very awkward firing it from this position i gotta fire it from an extended position a little bit just like that so that's how i fire it um it felt good 
it's a little wonky in the in the rotation sometimes this gets a little eh it, it jams not jams up because i didn't have any malfunctions or misfires everything fired the way it should and it always did rotate but sometimes this would kind of you just have to jiggle it or give it a little extra oomph to get that cylinder to rotate now it rotates a little more freely when there's no demolisher rockets in it but once it's loaded up with six rockets uh every once in a while you get that weird wonky prime <clears throat> i won't say prime because you're not priming everything but you get that that wonky rotation to, to index the cylinder but other than that it did what it was supposed to do and it did not malfunction so for that i give it a good grade <clears throat> now i don't know how much this is going for new at one point i know it was like 70 dollars or more which is freaking nuts um it is cool it is big and it's one of a kind but it's not worth 70 dollars. no freaking way now i found these on thrift i found two brand new in the box the gentleman was selling them and i got two of them brand new in the box for 20 dollars, 10 dollars each and that's why i have two one is still in the box <clears throat> maybe for a future giveaway but we don't know yet but if you could find one of these on thrift for twenty dollars or less i would jump on it um if it has rockets even better because these things are not cheap either i did find some comparable rockets on amazon that are one-to-one -one exact you know matches for the, the the factory hasbro ones i will uh put that link in the description below and they were uh reasonably priced i think around fifteen dollars or something like that which is not bad for six uh, demolisher rockets so i mean this comes with six which is nice the rockets alone are worth over you know twenty dollars especially if you're buying the the hasbro you know and the nerf ones those are definitely worth twenty dollars or more so it, it it's not a bad deal if you can find what it is on thrift that has any kind of rockets but even if it doesn't have the rockets uh i would say twenty dollars or less is a really good price for this um because it is a lot of blaster there is a lot going on here but i like it it, it, it does what it's supposed to do, um, but it's more or less, uh, you know, it's just fun to play with. I mean, if you're playing around with your friends or family, you're having a backyard war and you break this out, yeah, I'd like to see the faces on your family then. What did you say about me last Christmas? Yeah, Aunt Barbara, whatever, yeah. Uh, okay, but you know what I'm saying. So it's pretty fun. It's cool. If you like Fortnite, I mean, it's Fortnite but uh it's cool it's it's a one of a kind in terms of it's the only one like it so in that it does its job well but that's pretty much all i got for you guys now this is a uh, <clears throat> part one of a six part series i'm going to be going over five um rocket launchers and then we are going to do one video putting them all head to head in a bracket style tournament to see who was crowned the king of the demolisher rocket launchers so stay tuned for that. That should be pretty fun. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We are almost at the 500 mark. So the blaster giveaway will be happening soon. I already have the blaster set aside that I'm planning on giving away. And it is a good one. So I'm looking forward to that. And you guys should be too. So until next time, I'm DJ Darkbeat. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.